<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And happy Friday. Happy Friday. There is much singing today. Yeah, I've she's, heard, she's I think six or eight songs. No, it's not me. Oh. <laughs> I do not sing. Mm. Someone else in this household sings. Really? So mm. I'm not sure what's up with that, but Good morning, I'm Dr. Robin, this is Russ. Together we've created the Whole Food Muscle Club and written the book, How to Feed a Human the Whole Food Muscle Way, with the goal of helping 100,000 people improve their health in the next five years. And as part of that, we come on here um, Monday through Friday and share advice, share what's going on with us, uh, share stuff to try and help you uh, make choices in your, in your life for your health that you would like. So, um, Facebook has changed something. It says it's letting me do a live that is on our R&R &R journey page and in the Whole Food Muscle group. Whether that's true or not, I have absolutely no idea. Did you have to do something once it started? Or is it I all know there? it said it did it. I don't oh, know. Okay. But anyway, we're going to try it. So hopefully that'll work for us. Uh, so where to start? On Monday, we talked to you about the white lasagna soup that I made, the video to that is still in the Whole Food Muscle group until tomorrow. Until tomorrow or Sunday. I'm, I'm... Depends on how busy he is. Yes, so if exactly. you haven't had a chance to watch me make white lasagna soup and you're interested in that recipe, watch it now because after this weekend it goes and becomes part of the Whole Food Muscle Club and it's available only to club members. Right, and after today, maybe tomorrow, but hopefully today, that'll also be on the membership website with the actual printed out um, ingredient, printable in ingredients list ingredients list whatever right and a picture of the final which pot. I'm not a food photographer so the picture is not nearly as good as the soup actually was right I also told you that I made uh, lemon cookies over the weekend and I did post that um, recipe and the notes for that I had that I did with it um, in the recipe section of the Whole Food Muscle Club. So if you're not a member of the Whole Food Muscle Club and you want to be, go to wholefoodmuscleclub.com and there's um, options there just so you can join us. Right. So that definitely recommend those lemon cookies. They were fabulous. They were awesome. So that was on Monday. Um, on Tuesday, I talked to you about how to create complete plant-based meals because of a lot of our clients, when, they, when we start telling them they need to move toward being plant-based, the thing they struggle with is what's left to eat because for most people in the Western world, when they think about food, the first thing that comes to mind is meat, dairy, and eggs. And if you eliminate those options, they feel like they're completely adrift with nowhere to start. So what I told you was your best option is going to be to start with your starch. What starch do you want to eat? And so that's going to be your grains and your potatoes and you know the, all those kind of really yummy filling things. Start with your starch, then go ahead. And your very important thing, which is your fiber. Right. You know, all those starches have fiber in there, and as we've, we've talked about before, is the average American gets about 15 grams of fiber on a daily basis, and you really need 40 and above. So that's how far as the standard American diet has you from eating a healthy diet yep. with, with what I would say is a required minimum amount of fiber. Absolutely. To stay healthy, to get, so you don't think of things like prostate cancer, colon cancer, you know, all the other lovely cancers that are caused by stuff sitting in your digestive tract and not passing through yep. and if anybody's saying hi hi we have not seen comments yet hopefully they will yeah show up. they're not showing up yet but we do definitely say hi um so start with your starch add your legumes your legumes are again a good source of fiber and a good place to get out um, extra protein not that you have to worry about counting such things so starch um, legumes then you're going to add your non-starchy veg vegetables which are green yellow red and orange vegetables those are going to add flavor they're again going to add more fiber that's going to be a great option for you did you as, want to say something? And remember, the more your plate looks like a rainbow, the healthier you are eating. The better it is for you, absolutely. Right. Um, and then we, uh, then you're going to add uh, whatever flavor you want. So that's going to be your spices. You know, pick pick a genre. You know, you can do Mexican, you can do Indian, you can do Asian, um, you can do what's what's the other one we eat? There's always four. Uh, Thai. Uh, that's an Asian one. Okay. Um, you Italian. Say, that's Italian. the other one. It says the Italian. I, I don't know. Is there another one? <laughs> but you can do any flavor you want with spices, and you can add it to your starches and your legumes and your non non starchy vegetables, and you're gonna get a really yummy meal. Right. Um, and then, of course, you're gonna make your desserts with your fruits, your nuts, and your seeds. Unless you are an athlete and you need the extra calories, then you're gonna eat uh, nuts and seeds um, and avocados and stuff on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. So that's definitely an option. And there's no water in my oatmeal. There is. Yet. There is? Yes. Oh. I just got distracted by my oatmeal. So there's water in my oatmeal. That's good. Thank you, love. Um, so that was on Tuesday. And I think that was the day. Was that the day that we came on late because we had a we had a thing to do and then the whole thing had no sound? 
Yes, I so think that was right. We did a whole live with no sound. So Tuesdays is actually our IHD version that has the whole because we have our intro camera set up. and stuff yeah. on it. Yeah. So that's all that the, the Tuesday one we deleted the live because it had no sound and miming is not very something I'm good at. And we put up the HD one instead. So go ahead and watch that one if you want. On Wednesday, we talked about the different kinds of oatmeal. Um, you know, the actually oat groat, which is the whole whole oatmeal uh, seed. Steel cut oats, quick cook steel cut oats, rolled oats, and then instant oatmeal. And how as you move down the chain of those, um, the amount of nutrition you get from them decreases. So that was that. And then yesterday we did a whole thing about how we shop and how shopping on the perimeter of the store, which is the advice you usually hear, is actually horrible advice because the perimeter of the grocery stores now has all the meat, the dairy, the eggs, the cheese, the, you know, all that stuff that you don't want to eat. So it's right. not the perimeter, it's more about what you want to, to eat, right. you know, look for the healthy foods. And as a matter of fact, the only place that's good on the perimeter and it's a great place to start your shopping is the produce section. Once you get past the produce section on the perimeter, it's a disaster. <laughs> it's true. Our, our grocery store goes from the produce section to the bakery. Right. That's what's well, on the yeah, perimeter. Yeah, have the, the cured and the meats. Deli. Yeah, the yep. deli, the fish. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, the fish is around the corner. I, yep. I take that back. But definitely the deli. And all the pre-made foods are there. And there's a Starbucks. So basically, you got to come in and hover right or, or zoom right to the left where the produce is and kind of move, move around. Move your way that. through there. Yep, and then, absolutely figure out where everything else is but if you want to hear more about like we talked about how we shop at Costco and our grocery store and our natural food store um, definitely go and watch the uh, video that we did yesterday and of course if you've already downloaded the whole food muscle starter kit which is available in the whole food muscle group it's pinned to the top you already have a list of our staples and the things that we keep in the house to be able to um, make the things that I make on a regular basis right. This weekend, I'm going to be cooking something for you. I haven't decided if I'm gonna make my um, like sour cream but better for you recipe or if I'm gonna show you how to make um, refried beans. I had to think about that. Where was that word? Refried beans. I'm gonna make one of those two things for you this weekend. I'm hoping it'll be a Saturday evening after we get back from the Delaware Health Challenge. Um, but it may be on Sunday. It depends upon kind of how the schedule goes, but I will make that for you uh, this weekend. Is there anything else you want to add? Uh, no, I think that's it for today. All right. This video is shareable because it is here on the r, r Journey page. So if you would like to share it, you can do that. Please do tell other people about us. That's how we get to make a difference. I'm ready to eat oatmeal. Me too. All right. All right. So with that, we'll say eat real food, mostly, mostly plants. plants. Have a great day, Have guys. Have a good one. We'll see you on Monday. Yes. I'll see you on the weekend. Yes.